Hey friends, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Christine and I am going to be doing a little bit different of a recipe on smashed potatoes. I'm sure you've heard of them. They're kind of a, a craze out there, but I'm going to be doing half smashed potatoes and I'm going to be doing it the non-boil method. So I just thought I'd bring you with. So come on with. Okay, so I have some freshly washed baby red potatoes and these are actually pretty big. I'm, I'm actually really impressed with these. So I'm only going to cut them in half right now and I'm going to put them in my bowl. And the goal is to be able to smash them at the end. Okay, so I have them cut in half and then next I've got two cloves of garlic and I just took them out of the freezer so I was letting them thaw a little bit. So I'm going to add two cloves of garlic and this is roughly a pound I want to say of potatoes. So I'm doing two cloves of garlic per pound and you can adjust it how you'd like. So there's one, two, And I'm putting them right into the bowl because they're just going to bake right alongside it. And it's going to make your house smell amazing. All right. And then I add olive oil. So per pound, I usually do two tablespoons. So right now I'm just going to do two. I'm doing one pound of potatoes. Okay. And then my butter stays out so it's pretty soft. So I'm just going to add like a dollop of butter. So kind of like roughly a pat and a half of butter per pound. And you can do more or less. And this is just regular real butter. I don't really do the margarine or anything. And then I have my seasoning. So I just do Italian seasoning. And that has a nice mix of everything in it. And then you've already got the garlic in there. If you want more garlic, you can. And I'm just going to do enough to cover the top. And you can always add more. So the other thing I have going right now is I have my toaster oven warming up at 425. So, all right, so right now I'm going to get my gloves on and I'm going to hand mix this together so it really gets in there. It's kind of the only way that I've figured out that everything gets covered and then that way it's not like too much of a mess. So I'm just going to kind of spread that butter on everything and mix it all together. And then we're going to put it on our aluminum foil covered pan. And this is just going in my toaster oven so I just have a smaller pan and you can double and triple this. But it's so easy. So I'm going to put the potatoes on kind of specifically. I'm going to put them side down so I'm able to smash them at the end. So let's slide this over and I'm just kind of setting them on here. And this kind of just takes place of the fully smashed potatoes. And then I take all that ooey gooey goodness and I just kind of set it on top of these. Oh man, it smells good already. And then I am going to get these in the toaster oven. We're going to put them, we've got it heating up at 425. We're going to put them in for 20 minutes. Okay, so we're just going to get these out of the toaster oven. They should be nice and soft. 
And I'm actually going to turn it back on to keep it going. And I'm actually going to take the bottom of a mason jar and I'm going to smash them. And I'll show you what they look like after. thicker a couple of these there we go and I'm just kind of giving it like a turn as I'm doing it I'm not sure if that one will smash there we go so I've just got one that's kind of not wanting to smash oh, which is fine <laughs> and I just made a mess but anyways all right so after you do that, after you smash them, we're going to stick them back in for um, about 10 more minutes to kind of crisp them up and maybe 15 depending on your toaster oven or oven. So I'm going to put them back in and now is the time if you wanted to add any Parmesan or anything like that. Actually, you know what? I just got some Parmesan from Costco. So let me grab some of that and I'm going to sprinkle it on top. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of Parmesan. This is a little bit different. And then we're gonna put it back in and let that kind of all meld together and get it like nice and crispy, crunchy. Okay, and I'm just using the Parmesan Classic from Sartori. All right, let me put both of my mitts on. I still have my toaster oven going so it didn't lose any heat. Gonna slide it back in and we're gonna set the timer for about 10 let's do like 12 minutes or so and then we should be ready we are about five minutes in and you can kind of see how it's getting crunchy ooey gooey we love that and it smells amazing and that cheese yeah I'm glad I remembered that I had it so like I said we got about five minutes left and then we'll get it out and enjoy. Okay let's get these out and they look delicious. We're gonna let them sit for about five minutes so that they can kind of cool and then get a little bit crispier and then we're gonna give them a taste test. Okay, let's dig in. Let's see how they turned out. I just grabbed one and my favorite little mini fork that my daughter laughs at me about. And adding the cheese, I think, just brought it to another level. It's got a lot of flavor to it. And I think that this side dish is an easy peasy, ple people pleasing recipe, even for the pickiest people. And makes your house smell like you've cooked a super gourmet meal. And I noticed that the ones that I didn't cut perfectly in half, they didn't quite smash down. But I love this recipe because you don't have to go through like the double um, duty. So like you don't have to boil the potatoes first and then do the smashing. I, I just found out <clears throat> that doing it at 425 and for 20 minutes makes them smashable and then put them back in after you smash them and then add whatever you want at that time if you want to but otherwise they're already coated with everything. Throw them back in for the 10-12 minutes depending on your toaster oven or oven and they come out really nice and crispy. So level up your little side dish game and make people think that you've slaved all day. So thanks for stopping by my little channel. I hope this video helped you out to throw something really easy together that is, like I said, people pleasing. And if you like videos like this, super simple recipes, hit that like and subscribe. And I will see you next time on Christine's Routines. Take care and God bless. I'm gonna finish this. Got a couple more pieces. 
to go with our chicken dinner tonight. And this is the no boil potato method. So I thought I'd just show you, I almost made it through. Mm. My name is Christine. And today I am putting together a, <laughs> and the cat's playing with the blinds. Can't do anything about that. Hey friends, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Christine. And today I'm doing a little bit of a different recipe and the kids still play it.